I would be all over at home if they were to keep like 1.25 to one and a half million bucks. And he's a, what is he at? Sorry, 6 million, right? 6.25. So my thinking is, let me walk you through my hypothetical trade. Let's say they keep one and a half million. He's got three more years after this one. So it's quite the ask. 1.5 million brings him down to 4.75. You get them to take, throw in Tanner Janot at 800K as well. Bob Stoffer brought up the idea of the package deal, so I'll give him credit there. But combined, that would put you at just over 5.5 million. Pugliarvi a first in Borgo. Would you do it? I, th yeah, I would. I would do that, I think. I, uh, the prospects thing again, I don't know how it fully works. I don't know if you would have to give up Borgo. Maybe there's other players you can give him, but I agree. You probably have to give up a reasonably good prospect. But yeah. one thing I've kind of thought about a lot since we had Frank on last week when he was talking about Carlson, he just says that where does Carlson make you better? I think yeah. if you bring in an Ekholm, I know we just spoke about the numbers defensively for the Oilers, but I think Ekholm just helps sustain that success that they've had. He'll help you on the penalty kill. He's been to the Stanley Cup final before, right? When Nashville went a few years ago. So he brings yep. that level of it to you as well. He has that physicality to him. And by, if I was the Oilers, I would look at what the success was through January. Take away your opponents. Mm -hmm. You bullied a lot of teams. You were able to stay physical in the game and all that kind of stuff. Geno and Ekholm will both bring that to the lineup too. So then you had those two yep. along with... Costin, Kane, and Dehane, hypothetically. I think that's a really mm -hmm. positive move. One thing I do like about the deal you threw out there is nothing moves out of the blue line. I think it's very important yeah. that Oilers keep the blue line the same and just add to it. Because we saw it last year where it was like, okay, the blue line's decent. Then you had Kulak and it gets to another level. I think this helps the Oilers a lot in many areas. And yeah, if Kenny Holland can figure out a way to get that and Tanner you know. I'll buy an Ekholm jersey. There you go. There you go. I I, and someone said, why would Nashville do that? And I think Nashville is going to be going through a little bit of a retooling period here. I think it's trending in that direction. They have a lot of older, very expensive mm -hmm. forwards. So how do you kind of offset that a little bit? Give them Xavier Borgo, who has legit pedigree as a former first-round pick. Give them another first-round pick. So now they'd have two in the upcoming draft to stock up on more forwards. And they have D-men. Yossi, Ekholm, they got Dante Fabro, who's a good young option, a couple other pieces there who are having decent seasons. I think their blue line, they could afford to sacrifice a Matias Ekholm for the sake of long-term getting some scorers in that organization. And someone said Nashville would probably want more, and I think so. Huli be would have to be treated as a straight-up cap dump. He doesn't provide any value in this trade. But the thinking with Nashville trading Tanner Janot is that they're apparently worried about what his arbitration case is next or this summer. He's not having a great year. Five goals in 54 games. His shooting percentage is down like 75%, though. Last year, this guy popped home 20 goals. He fights one of the guys in the league who will shed the mitts with regularity. Like, he will. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid to fight anyone. He's a, I'd say, heavyweight. I, you'd probably have to give up more. You're right. Maybe it's a first, second Borgo and Pugliarvi. And that's enough to convince Nashville. Again, take a stab on Pugliarvi. Maybe he ends up being a goal scorer for you. You get Xavier Borgo. You get a first-round pick. For the Oilers, you get a legit hard-nosed D-man and a guy who makes you tougher to play against in the bottom six. Both those guys are under team control for at least next season as well. That's a deal I'd really look at. Yeah. I mean, why? there are two legit players who will make you yeah. better. Um, like you said, maybe you have to add a little bit more into the deal to make it more pleasing for nashville but we've seen nashville be busy in the trade market before in the past when seasons haven't necessarily gone that way i guess you could say so i think it'd be a smart move for them to kind of evaluate where they're at and i don't think in that division they're going to be getting it's not getting easier right so yeah i don't think it's out of the question i think maybe it's difficult but it's easier than a carlson deal to say the least 